Now, what's so provocative about that to me is Paul could have motivated this giving much more simply than that. <laughs> he could have said, love people, love the poor of any kind. And he, he entangles himself in this Jew Gentile issue again. This is Romans 11 all over again. This is Romans 11 all over again. He can't get away from Romans 11. Do you remember Romans 11? And Paul is cutting the nerve of Jewish pride and Gentile pride. Jewish boasting and Gentile boasting. By showing how God did this complex redemptive history in order to cut pride out from under everybody's feet. And the way he did it was to say, don't you Gentiles dare boast over the Jewish branches that are broken off? Because you are Johnny-come-lately branches. You're a wild olive tree. And you were grafted by pure grace into this olive tree. You were grafted by pure grace into this olive tree. You know what that olive tree is? That's the covenant with Abraham and Israel. The promises made to Israel. There. So, if you have any spiritual blessings at all, you Gentiles, you know where you got them? From Jews. What did Jesus say in John 4? Salvation is from the Jews. So don't boast. And Jews in Jerusalem, don't boast either. Because guess what? Your, your pride and your inheritance, that you are the children of Abraham, and that you're the beneficiaries of the promises, guess what? The Messiah is giving them away freely to anybody who wants them of every color and ethnicity. So don't you boast over the Gentiles like you got the inheritance because your Messiah is going before you among all the nations and gathering them into Judaism. If you're a Christian, you're a Jew. That's what Paul would say. And if you're a Jew, you're an heir of Abraham and inherit the world.